Today's recipe is really interesting. It's an asparagus pasta with scrambled eggs. Seems like a little bit of a strange idea, right? Most people don't put scrambled eggs in their pasta, but it's so elegant. And one of the featured ingredients is Parmesan cheese. It adds so much flavor. You can use it from the tip to the end, even the rind has great uses. I've dropped 12 ounces of spaghetti into a large pot of salted boiling water, and I'm gonna go get my asparagus ready because this has to cook for about eight minutes, and then I add my asparagus right to this pot. This is a pound of asparagus. Just trim the bottoms off. What I like to do is just lift one up, bend it until it snaps, and that will show where to cut the rest of the asparagus. Then I just line them all up and then cut across at, the, at that spot. It's a pretty good way of measuring. And then cut your asparagus crosswise into one and a half inch pieces. This is a very big bunch, but you need about a pound, give or take. It's not really that important. I mean, who's gonna complain about more asparagus, right? Then it goes into the pot of boiling water with the pasta. Carefully. <laughs> I don't know, it's not easy to do that, right? Without burning yourself, gently drop the asparagus into the pot. And you really just need to cook this until it turns bright green and tender. That shouldn't take more than one minute. And because this is gonna sit just a minute while I make my final touch for this, which is some delicious scrambled eggs, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it back to a boil and then drain it right away so that the asparagus does not overcook. Oh, as usual, I forgot to save my pasta water, so I'm just gonna scoop some out. I caught myself in the nick of time and then drain the rest of the pasta. And you're gonna make your sauce right in this pot. Melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter in your pan. Basically what you're doing is you're making a butter sauce, emulsifying the butter into the pasta water. So add your pasta water to the pot as well. I saved a half a cup of pasta water, but I'm gonna start off using a quarter cup. I always like to save a little extra just in case you need to loosen your pasta afterwards. And then you add a half a cup of grated parm. Like I said, parm is so delicious and useful. We use it all the time by like adding the rind to soups and sauces to give lots of great flavor, especially in vegetarian dishes. We grate it on top of crostini. We stir it into pasta sauces. We shave it onto salads. We love Parmesan cheese. Really what you're looking to do is just stir the parm into the sauce, let it melt, and then add your asparagus and pasta back into the pot. And then you want to season this with salt and pepper. Why not? A little bit of pepper. I'm just moving this to the back while I make my scrambled eggs. And like I said, I slightly undercooked my asparagus so it wouldn't overcook right now. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs to go on this. I know it seems a little weird, right? It's a little unusual, but it's so delicious and it makes the dish extra special. So cook five eggs or however many eggs you want because it's just a little touch and what it does is it adds such great richness and creaminess and a little bit of protein too. It's seasoned with salt. I'm not putting any pepper in here. I just don't like the way that it makes the eggs look. I know lots of people like pepper. Go ahead and add it if you'd like. Melt a tablespoon of butter in a small nonstick skillet. You know, you can whisk your eggs ahead of time and that way everything will come together at the last minute. Add your eggs and just scramble them. You can do it slow or fast. The slower you do it, the creamier they'll be. I have a tendency to just go fast because, well, that's my impatient nature. My hint for making the best scrambled eggs really is just don't overcook them because if you cook them to the point where you think that you wanna eat them, by the time they're on your plate, they'll be overcooked. So cook them so that they look slightly underdone. They're at that point right now, so turn them off. I'm turning them off right now and I'm gonna serve myself immediately. All right, you might need to loosen with a little bit of pasta water. Give yourself some spaghetti. All my asparagus seems to have fallen to the bottom, so I'm gonna go back in and get my asparagus. A Little bit of egg, and then a spoon of ricotta cheese. And if you're feeling a little indulgent, shave a little bit of extra cheese on top, because why not? I'm just that kind of girl. Indulge yourself tonight. Try this extra delicious springified dish pasta with scrambled eggs and asparagus. Mm -hmm. Springy. Mm, so good. Just dip asparagus in Parmesan cheese. There's a recipe for you. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.